Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will do response spectrum analysis with fixed base support in ETAPS. And in the next tutorial, we will do the same analysis with lead rubber bearing isolator support. So let's start. This is our seismic parameters for our analysis. We will do the analysis with respect to UBC 97, 97 for seismic loading. So here define load pattern here we have defined soil profile type SD seismic zone factor 0.3 here CACV value coming automatically from ETAPS this seismic coefficient CA and CV this we can find in the UBC 97 volume 2 table 16R and table 16Q using soil profile type and seismic zone user defined time period we will select 2.5 second this story range base to top of the building and the over strength factor R 8.5 as per UBC 97 for SMRF special moment resisting frame type structure for IMRF it will be 5.5 according to UBC 97 important factors 1 for Y direction we will change only the direction Y direction and other values will keep the same as X direction of earthquake loading ok ok now in the next step we will check the mass source 100% of all dead loads and 25% of live load will be used in base shear calculation and it will affect in displacement of the structure in seismic modes here mass source we have taken specified load patterns dead load 100% and live load 25 percent we will use lump lateral mass at story levels okay for seismic analysis okay then define modal cases define modal case this one we will choose a agent modal subtype here agent vectors agent modes are most suitable for determining response from horizontal ground acceleration through a missing mass residual mass mode may need to be included to account for missing high frequency effects we have added here in mass source lump lateral mass at Historical levels here, residual mass will be considered for seismic analysis. So, Asian vectors will be perfect for that consideration. Asian analysis is useful for checking behavior and locating problems within the model. Another benefit is that natural frequencies, frequencies indicate when reasonable resonance should be expected under different loading conditions user may control the convergence tolerance and, and on the other hand reads vector load dependent reads, reads vectors are most suitable for analysis involving vertical ground acceleration localized machine vibration and the nonlinear FNA method reads vectors are also efficient and widely used for dynamic analysis involving horizontal ground motion their benefit here is that for the same number of modes, reads vector provide a better participation factor which enables the analysis to run faster with the same level of accuracy. So between these two, we will go for agent vectors. And now then P delta setting, we will set non-iterative based on mass. Define model case, modify here agent. We will select non-iterative based on mass. 
as we have considered the masses for seismic effect maximum number of mode here we will choose maximum number of modes our building is modeled considering rigid diaphragm so we are not interested in vertical excitation we will have three mass degree of freedom per floor two translational and one rotational here floor number is 10 here 10 number of floors so total degree of freedom will come 3 into 10 30 so initially we will provide 30 modes 30 minimum this will be one frequency shift frequency shift it is needed for searching the mode for higher frequencies due to vibrating equipment in the building here all modes are important for our seismic analysis so we will use default value as it is zero and convergence tolerance here convergence tolerance this one determines how much the agent values should be closed for iterations uh, iterations before the analysis goes to another mode so we'll keep same as it is by default okay okay then define response spectrum now we will go for our response spectrum function we will choose our code ubc 97 then add new function here ubc 97 rs seismic coefficient we have found before from the ubc code ca.36 and cb.54 0.54 function damping ratio 5% so it will be 0 0.05 then ok ok now we will go for the next step defined load case case type will be response spectrum go to define here load case add new case here rs will write response spectrum analysis here we will add acceleration u1 choose the ubc 97 rs spell scale factor we will keep same as it is here add another this one u2 this one okay this model CQC we will choose here other options also CQC means complete quadrilateral combination you can include rigid response if you need but we will skip this one here directional combination type here it is square root sum of the squares is preferable for finding critical direction of seismic motion with respect to principal axis of the building okay then modal damping we will use constant damping for all modes five percent okay and uh, from eccentricity we will use five percent eccentricity 0 0.05 okay here we check u1 u2 here we have we need to choose this one 97 rs okay done now we will run the analysis After finishing the analysis, we will go to table analysis result. We will check the modal result, modal participating mass ratio. Show table. Here we will go to last mode, third number 30. We will check combined modal mass participation. Combined modal mass participation should be more or equal to 
90% that means 0 0.9 at least 90% it should be of the actual mass in each orthogonal response direction if less than this found then increase modal number to get the 90% or more modal mass participation in the analysis here we, we can see 99% sum of ux ui 99% and here rx ry sum of rx 98% sum of ry 98% so we don't need to increase the number of mode so 30 is enough for our seismic analysis now we will go for the base reaction table here we will filter the load combination or load cases we need here qx qy control qx qy and rs max for response spectrum here we can see the fx and fi direction forces in x and y direction for qx this is 316.4 and for response spectrum it is 2112.7 now we will get the factor value which we left before same as by default here load load case here this is scale factor now we will get the factor to get the close or almost close result this should be at least 85% close here the factor value will be seismic load case and response spectrum load case to match both values at least 85% then multiply this factor with the existing factor in load case for response spectrum analysis so let's see the procedure here we will take we can take 2 to 4 2 here 2 1 one two in between these two we can take two two double zero go to calculator here first seismic load case three one six three one six point four divided by two two double zero in between these two values we want to get closer values in x both x and y direction so 2200 equal to this one copy this factor value which we will multiply with our existing scale factor here just type star that will multiply the factor then control paste ok here resistor then control v take on up now this is the scale factor okay okay now result of for modified cases and their dependence will be deleted also all design result will be deleted okay now we will run rerun the analysis It will take time. So after the analysis for the second time, we will check the result. Reaction based reaction show table. Here we can see this three twenty two three zero three point eight. So almost close we can check the percentage small value first 3.8 divided by 316.4 so this is 96 percent closer and this one also close so in this way we can finish our response spectrum analysis in some tutorials we have seen that uh, some 
users use the scale factor using a formula that is ig divided by r i means the importance factor g is the gravitational acceleration value and the r is response modification factor which is which here we have used 8.5 so after getting that factor again you need to adjust with base reaction so that will uh, increase the step number only so that is not needed in this response spectrum analysis we can keep the default scale factor then we can adjust from the base reaction values so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next tutorial which will be on response spectrum analysis using damping isolator lead rubber bearing isolator press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update